Food and nutrition security has been a key point of the Italian action in the European and global development agenda this year, especially last semester. As far as the post-2015 agenda is concerned, besides our engagement with the Open Working Group in New York, we tried to promote a common EU approach on this matter, and we are stimulating a Mediterranean discussion about the present and future role of food and agriculture. We believe that the present debate and the future development framework should hinge on sustainable food systems rather than merely on food production. And we are very pleased that, that the subject of this year General Assembly is food systems and gender, with particular attention to women economic empowerment. Women are the backbone of rural economy, especially in the developing world. Yet they have a very limited access to land, credit, training and information compared to men. Empowering and investing in rural women has led to significant productivity increase, reduction of hunger and malnutrition and improvement of rural and urban livelihoods. The whole community has benefited from women advancement. I am confident that the invited speakers will provide a very good account on how the food system approach could contribute in better tackling major development challenges and in achieving broader and more sustainable results in agriculture, economic and social development. I am convinced that we have here all the right ingredients to stimulate a rich exchange of experiences and perspectives and proposals. The development framework is changing fast. The post-2015 development debate is an historical opportunity to create a more favorable environment to address the unfinished agenda of food security and rural development. In order to assist our partners in driving this evolution on the right track, as a donor community we should translate it in terms of new needs, challenges, opportunities and actions. As I just mentioned, it is fundamental to enhance the women's role in agriculture and rural development. We should not only improve the women's conditions as farmers, but also enhance their role as entrepreneurs, as consumers, as policy makers, as agents of positive social changes. Already more than half of the world population lives in cities. It is therefore urgent to develop new land planning and management models which break the current dichotomy between rural and urban areas and promote the integration of all the components of the food systems and allow a responsible governance of natural resources. We are convinced that, that women's role can be central in achieving that result. I don't want to take too much of your time, but let me just uh, conclude my brief uh, welcoming uh, remarks by warmly thanking uh, the Overseas uh, Agronomic Institute and the Platform Secretariat for the efficient organization of this event. I would also like to invite all of you to next year uh, Universal Exhibition in Milan, which will be dedicated, as you probably know, to food and nutrition security. Its slogan being Feeding the Planet, Energy for Life. Expo 2015 will provide a great platform for sharing experiences, knowledge, products and production processes. It will also represent a unique occasion to contribute to the global debate on sustainability and food and nutrition security in the broader process of elaborating the new development agenda post-2015. From the 1st of May till the 31st of October next year, there will be many opportunities to discuss together the role of food in a rapidly changing world, to develop innovative solutions and new forms of partnership, and to appreciate the fruits of human creativity and ingenuity. I wish a good discussion and I hope to see you in Milan next year. Thank you very much.